hello how are you guys thanks to be here and watching this video so if you remember in the first video we discussed ESLint rules only for a specific file only for a single file now we will in this second video we will disable eastlint for the whole project for our whole react js project and this video is much simpler than the first video okay so how we can do this very easy let's say first i create two files multiple files okay so you can see here app.js this component is throwing eastlint warning i create one another uh, component i call it um, uh, let's say favorite cunt uh, let's say favorite developer or something like that okay okay this is my component okay so i want this to be functional component for this i'm using a plugin through which we i can easily generate a component okay you know uh, the skeleton of the component so this is favorite developer this is my uh, functional component okay if you want this to be a class based component then you can see rf rfc means react functional component r react functional component okay if you want this to be a class based component then you can do something like react class component very good okay i like uh, function based component function components okay the next thing question is what which plugin i am using so you will see here something related react code snippet i think this one let me check it i don't remember yes this is the one you can see the plugin name is react js code snippets and this is the developer very difficult name i can't pronounce and you can see here how it's working you can see the demo video okay so i i declare I declare a variable here let's say this time I use or you will think why I'm always using constant so this time I use uh, uh, or var uh, let's say I call it developer and uh, I call it f developer okay but I should keep it developer okay because uh, I should also teach you the the coding standards but for now i keep it the variable name developer okay and my favorite developer is uncle bob okay i will show uncle bob i will show to you uncle bob in the last of this video but this is my uh, uncle bob is my favorite developer okay let's say here I should use this like this okay very good and now I want to import this let's say I remove this code and here I, I import this favorite developer component okay I'm using auto import okay so as you can see if I write something favorite developer it's automatically import okay this is my component okay so how is you can see this is our output but i want let's say i'm very bad developer i write messy code so how i can do this 
okay let's say i declared a variable but still i'm using i'm not using it okay so the the variable is useless now if you see to the console okay okay look to this we have three warning from app.js logo is defined but never used this logo author is assigned a value but never used this variable this constant date is defined but never used this one and from the favorite developer.js we have this developer variable uncle bob okay okay so what is the solution now how we can hide the warnings of different files of multiple files or of the whole project very easy uh, you will need to install one npm package that is called eastland plugin disabled okay you will need to copy this command and run inside your project okay good then okay this is also telling you in line but i'm not interested in inline comments i'm interested in this thing okay even this is much better so i install the uh, the plugin and then i create a file i call it eastland rc i create a file what should be the file name eastland rc okay good i copy this code and paste it here i save you can still see the warnings so why it this this plugin is not working i installed the plugin i created the configuration file i wrote the configuration code then why it's not working very simple just restart your local server yes yes that's good warnings from both file app.js and favorite developer okay app.js and favorite developer warnings from both files are disabled that's good that's what we want okay if you need advanced configuration of this of this plugin then you can simply go, go through the documentation and uh, you should do what you need okay that's very good okay let me show you uncle bob uh, this is you know this is uncle bob okay you know he has 40 years coding experience sorry uncle bob american engineer cleancoder.com okay you know mr uh, uncle bob is one of my favorite teacher i listened uh, you know uh, I learned from Uncle Bob that how we can write clean, maintainable, professional code. So I also recommend you to watch the Uncle Bob series, Clean Code. The Clean Code. Yeah, this is the series. Okay. So you should watch this and it will help you. Okay, Uncle Bob. That's it. 
and uh, I think in the next series I think we should close this topic now the Eastland this information is enough even there are multiple ways this is the only one way to disable Eastland for the whole project there is one another way also uh, create react app advanced configuration advanced configuration and in the advanced configuration here you can see that uh, we can disable it from here also what we will need we will need to create a file dot env we will need to create a file dot then env we will need to create this file in the root of our project okay like this uh, dot env and we will need to uh, make it true if you want to disable it okay i did and then i will need to restart the server but unfortunately this is not working for me okay so this is only one way which is not working for me if you can work it then please also teach me also tell me in the comment that how uh, this is working for you thank you and uh, we will see you i will see you uh, in the next video and uh, the topic will be different but i think that is also related react i'm pretty sure okay